a mega research which is done in our faculty. We, this is a group research which is funded by University of Gondar. And we try to assess the current challenges, what's really going on in the digital repository in Ethiopia, and also what's the practice really going on. And it will be uh, an input for the implementation, for the successful implementation for NARDI, which is the National Digital Repository. Uh, even it will be really an input. We can, we can see what's, what's really the face of the challenges is, exist. I will talk uh, this outline. I, I, will, I will introduce the background of my research, motivation and objective. I will go each one by one. As you know, uh, digital library or repository is actually it is an online database which can be accessed. Uh, different resources, it may be uh, an article, it may be a thesis, it may be a dissertation, or it may be any text, it may be even including the video audio also. As you know, usually in academia, usage of resources is growing and uh, even sharing the academic, repos academic repositories or becoming the culture. So in Ethiopia, especially in Ethiopia, it is actually a digital library or repository is a recent pheno phenomena which is actually currently used and even uh, users are frequently asking about its services. Our motivation of the research is actually uh, we can observe our libraries shift from a traditional service to a modern service. And also, if you look our universities, our Ethiopian universities, and also some institutions, research institutions, they are trying to implement library and they are trying to move from traditional service to digital library services. But the problem is the implemented system, which is a digital library as well as the repository, is not functional in a sustainable way because of due to different factors. Uh, if you look at different universities, they try to implement a digital library and they try to implement a repository, but their system is not functionally sustainable. Therefore, this study aims to explore what's really the trends, the challenges is going on, and also what's really the opportunities of the libraries and posters in Ethiopia. This was uh, our objective. Our general objective was to explore the trend, the practice, the challenge, and opportunity. Our specific objective was to examine the criteria used to select a digital library and repository software. What's really the criteria they use, what's really the criteria the ICT staff select a software? What's really their criteria? To identify the, the types of digital collection in the selected libraries and repositories, what kind of collections are going to be deposited in the system? To examine the existing challenge, what's really the challenges first? And also, lastly, what's really the opportunity? what immersives can get from this. So the, the benefit, it's, we believe that it will enable to identify the constraints in existing academic digital repository. And it will be an input to build national academic digital repository. It enhances the accessibility, availability of recent information in digital repositories. The beneficiaries will be universities, colleges, researchers, students, and policy makers will be a beneficiary. Uh, we follow a quantitative cross-sectional survey research method, and the population of this research was from the university and also from nine university from international and local, local organizations. Immersive was we try to assess seven universities, Addis Ababa University, University of Gondar, Bahada University, Jumma University, Harama University, Adama Science and Technology University, Awasa University, and also from international organization, we try to assess United Nations Economic Commission of Africa, Africa Union, and Ethiopian National Archive, and Library of Ethiopia also taken as a population. In these universities, we try to uh, uh, check interview as well as uh, give a questionnaire and to 
uh, give a, a, an opinion about the, their system, their repository. The digital library staffs, which is a digital librarian, including the ICT people, and also uh, users. Our sampling method was, we follow a multi-stage sampling, which is one, we stratify some simple uh, technique sampling, which is actually for staffs. We took 120 participants from digital library staffs. And also using a purpose sampling technique or a convenience sampling technique, we took users, which is the digital library users, random uh, convenience,ly 278 pe people is taken as a participant. So we used a struct questionnaire to get their feedback. We use a descriptive and statistical analysis method. So our finding, our finding is, uh, we put the finding in table as well as in charts. The first finding was selected digital library and repository platform in Ethiopia. What is the software is going on for digital library as well as for repository? Uh, the platforms or the softwares are the first one is Dispace, a Greenstone, Bpress, and Eprit. Dispace is used by some public universities like Addis Ababa University, Jumeirah University, Bahada University, University of Gondar. United Economic Commission for Africa, including Africa Union, they follow this space. And also some of the universities is the Greenstone, at the University, including Harama University. And also there is Africa Union uses the BPRES, and again, ePrint is used by uh, United Economic Commission for Africa. From our finding, we, we conclude that this space and Greenstone are the popular digital library and repository open source platform. Why will I assess, why will I try to assess from the literature? There are a lot of communities on this space and Greenstone. But in Ethiopia, this space is the most preferred open source platform used in most digital libraries and repositories, including the thesis and also a dissertation. For your information, this space is for, for initial repository or for articles, for publications. But a greenstone is used for ebook collections, which is a, uh, what we call it for normally a digital library. The second finding was uh, selection criteria to select a digital library software. What's really the staff's criteria to select this space? What, what mechanisms they follow? Uh, as you see, there are a lot of uh, criteria while the, uh, the, the, the staff select the repository platform. But in our, uh, in our, uh, in our findings, the most interactive is our interface, full text accessibility and easiness for installation were high ranked criteria among those listed in the app. So uh, the digital staffs and ICT staffs follow, they check the interactivity of the softwares, they check the full text accessibility of the system, and they also really check uh, the installation procedures. This was another finding, which is types of digital collection. What kind of collections are re uh, submitted to the repository? As we, have, as, we have, as we have seen in the picture, there are a lot of materials, uh, including the course material, historical documents, reports, uh, journals, articles, artworks, manuscripts, photographs, and uh, thesis, dissertation, rare books, audio visuals. These are the collections which are going to be submitted to the repository. But most the respondents saying that thesis and dissertation were the most prized digital item in Ethiopia, followed by rare books, journals, and articles. And also the other result is a criteria for selection of material to digitize collection. What is really the staff's criteria to select the thesis and also to select the, the dissertation? And also why they, uh, they digitize, they submit the articles? The criteria is the following. They check the historical value of the document. Is it the, the cultural value? Is it for a commercial purpose? 
Is it for increased accessibility of material? Is it for preservation, academic and research purpose? We try to assess the user's feedback. So, uh, based on the user's feedback, academic and research purpose is one of the top criteria. Increased accessibility of the document is another criteria. And user's need is uh, another criteria for selecting uh, the material to be digitized. The other finding is a source of digital collection. Where is these collections are coming from? Is it from internet or is it from colleagues or is it from vice presidents or is it from where it comes from those collections? So is it through purchasing? Is it from internet donation instructors and other members? So based on our finding or from user feedback, the major source of for the digital collection were from researchers. Digital library staffs bring the collections from researchers, and also some of them saying that we get collection from internet, and also sharing from other universities as a donation principle actually. And also the other result was we try to assess where is the source of funding for digital activities, for where is the source of funding come from? Is it from an institution? And we try to assess some of the participants saying that from any job even, and also Minister of Education and other. The major source of the funding for digital activities were from Minister of Education, followed by governmental and NGO organizations. We also try to assess the partnership, the partnership organization for doing these activities. In our case, we found that International Network for the Availability of Scientific Publication and Academic Libraries were the, the best partners for repository activities for digital library and also in shared poster activities. They give some funding. Uh, I know INAS or International Network for the Availability of Scientific Publication to prepare such kind of workshops and give even a funding for Ethiopian uh, universities for this purpose. Uh, and also we try to look at in the digital activity and the repository activity about the copyright and the policy issue. Uh, for your formation, so most of the participants responded, uh, reported that copyright and intellectual property issue do not consider in the development of digital uh, libraries and repositories in Ethiopia. Uh, if you look at 66% of the respondents reported as a copyright and intellectual property is not given a consideration while during the digitization activity. So this is really a challenge here in Ethiopia. Some of the researchers are saying that I am not voluntary to give my, my article, my thesis, since the university give, is not giving me a guarantee. So this is really the challenge. Uh, even in here in University of Gondor also, there are some of the researchers especially in a medical school, they are not voluntary to give their thesis and dissertation because of they are afraid of copy and redistribute the paper. The other result is types of users in Ethiopia digital library repository. What are the users for this repository really? So the majority of the users here in Ethiopia digital library repository were students. Most of the users are students. The students Especially, we got this result from a design university. A student, especially the PhD and the master's students. And also the academic staff, instructors, researchers are followed by the academic staff. And you, you can look at the percentage. 66% of the, the users are students. The students may be, it may be uh, undergraduate student, it may be a postgraduate student, but most of the respond the student is a postgraduate student. I remember this result from Addis Ababa University. And also we try to check the frequency of these of digital library and repository. Uh, is the users access daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly? And in our accordingly in our result, thirty four percent of the respondents access the digital library and repository at least weekly at least weekly. 
and followed by 29% of the population respondents use the repository systems daily. What kind of collection the users try to access? For which collection they give high attention? Is it for the dissertation? Is it for the thesis? Is it for the article? For which they give high priority? We try to assess this also. If you look at the percentage, a course material, including course material means including the textbook, including the guidelines, including the man lab manuals, a course material is have, get high rank, which is a 42%. Next, the research and research article and journalists, the second priority. So, course materials followed by research articles and journals, followed by thesis and dissertation, where the three prioritized digital collection accessed by users. Uh, we also try to ask the, resp the respondents about the benefit of these systems, what's, why, what, what, they, what they get from this system, the benefit of a digital library and repository. If you look at the percentage, 52% of users for the benefit for access everywhere. They are saying that, why, uh, yes, I can use the repository, digital library and repository systems everywhere. That's why I'm using the, the systems. And also anytime. Followed by where the uh, access rare books. I can, if you, can, you, can consider, you can imagine your library. If the books are very rare, the only option is getting the soft copy. So we can get rare books online from our repository system. And also expensive collection can be found from our repository system. We try to also ask what problems they face while they access these systems. Problems faced while users access the digital library and the repositories. The problems are the low collection speed, low quality of data collection, links are not working. Surprisingly, they are saying that low collection speed, which is related with ICT infrastructure, low collection speed and links are not properly working where the major problems that users are facing while they are using a digital library. Links, li uh, links are not working means if the users are trying to navigate the system, some of the links is, did not working. So, and uh, from the total assessment or result, we, we try to identify the challenges. We try to document the challenges. So the challenge is, the first challenge is lack of copyright and intellectual property right policy is very, the uh, very top challenge for Ethiopian digital library in the postal system. This is really uh, the first problem. Lack of funds to support the digital libraries and repositories is another challenge. Lack of a digital library plan, a policy, and the procedure is also another problem. Lack of national open access policy is another challenge. Incompatibility of, incompatibility of digital library and repository software for local language. In Ethiopia, there are a lot of languages. There are remorses uh, want us to change those local languages, for example, in Amharic books, Gus books, and other language books. But the software they, they selected for repository system did not compatible with the uh, platform as well as the collections. Lack of digital library professionals, this is also another real problem. Uh, uh, the trained staffs are moving from, from library to ICT, it may be somewhere, so this is another uh, problem. What is the, the opportunity? Uh, what opportunity, opportunity will bring this repository for the university growing and for the research development across the world. The first opportunity is this repository bring it enables to document preservation. Our document will be preserved for the long time. And also it, increase, it uh, increases institutions' research visibility. If you consider where the university competes across the globe, the first criteria is research visibility where the university ranks uh, regarding to the publication. And also it reduces duplication of work, minimizes plagiarism. 
uh, if you look at if my paper is present online, the probability of copying my 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 article or journal will be reduced. So it will reduce the duplication of work or it can minimize the plagiarism. Since everybody can access my, my, my article in the web, it increase it creates opportunity for authors, research, researchers, and students to promote their work. There are people who are saying that uh, somebody asked me by observing my paper from online. So I can, I can promote my work through the repository system. If my article is going to be submitted to the repository, people have the chance to access my paper. My paper. Indirectly, I am uh, promoting my work. It enhances collaboration among institutions is another opportunity. As a conclusion, in Utopia, the current digital library and repository development activity were found at early uh, at the infant level. Uh, the absence of digitization policy, lack of funds, incompatibility of software for local languages, and low internet connection speed are the major problem, including the copyright issue. It enables document preservation, enhanced research visibility, enhanced collaboration among institutions are the major opportunities. Based on our finding, these are our recommendations, especially for this workshop. It will be an input, very, impo very necessary. We should have an authorized and structured framework for copy and intellectual property, right at a national level, not for institutional level. Should, we should have a national digital library and repository policy, a plan and a standard. We have to develop open access policy should be developed at a national level even. We have to train our staffs, especially for the digital library staff. We have to create strong national international collaboration, and also we have to work to build a consortium among digital library institutions. Thank you very much. This is my presentation.